Oh, have you seen the yellow sign, the yellow sign, the yellow sign? Have you seen the yellow sign? I didn't think this through. Howdy, y'all. It's everybody's favorite Lovecraft, P.H. Lovecraft. If I'm getting things started off with a little musical interlude, you know that must mean it's time for... Today, we are going to be talking about Brian House's debut novel, Memento Mori. Coming out just now from our good friends at Word Horde Press. Now, a little bit of a caveat. Normally, I like to have a physical copy of the book I'm reviewing to display and show off and maybe just give a little fondle to. But in keeping with the mysterious ways of that jaundiced monarch, my copy disappeared. I don't know how, sometime between the finishing of it and my standing in front of you all today to record, the dang thing just up and left. So you're going to have to take old PH's word that this is a book worth checking out. If you're not familiar with the Gilded Classic by Robert W. Chambers, The King in Yellow, you'll still be able to appreciate what Ryan Hauser has done. But if you have read it, then you will have a little extra insight into just what Professor Hauser has gotten himself up to. Because you see, He's a devious academic, and as such, he has managed to take the original work by Chambers and bring it into the modern age in the rather insidious sleight of hand. You see, Chambers' King in Yellow was informed by his own time at L'Ecole des Beaux-Arts, where he was able to talk about the Parisian art scene and what it's like to be a student who's pursuing the fine arts, while Professor Hauser, of course, takes all the sinister qualities from King and Yellow, but applies it to the heady world of the underground film scene. And the whole thing begins with a bit of a deception. You see, he's presenting this book to you as if it's, well, a work of nonfiction, based on some research he's done into the, the zines of the 90s that they themselves are commenting on biographies that take place in the 70s. The whole thing is this sort of tripartite narrative where all the narrators are unreliable, and it is quite the trip. So, I recommend, if you're in any way interested in the strange, the weird, or you've ever stood in front of the camera or behind the camera and captured the world in all its voyeuristic strangeness, you're going to like this book. So go check out Memento Mori. Remember, just keep a grasp on it once you're done reading it. We don't want too many of these books disappearing now. We don't know where they might wind up. As always, I've done been P.H. Lovecraft. Y'all stay bad now.